Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have another huge 50 plus item thrift outlet haul. I sourced all of these pieces at either the Goodwill outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill bins, where here in Houston, I pay $2.19 per pound. It usually works out to around $2 per item. And also I did shop at the Family Thrift Center outlet where I pay $2.25 per item. So everything you'll see was sourced at either of those stores. I would say over a couple weeks. This is a couple weeks of thrifting. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. We have a lot of really good pieces, some new bolos. And yeah, I was very happy with my sourcing over the last couple weeks. So starting off with shoes and accessories, we first have this pair of Giuseppe Zanotti. That's my best try at pronouncing this. This is a designer brand, and these are a leopard printed calf hair shoe with an accented red heel. The heels do have a little bit of wear, and then the toes also have a little bit of wear to the calf hair. But overall, I thought they were in really good shape, like the body of the shoe uh, doesn't have you know any real issues. They're size 39, made in Italy. So I figured at 225, I would definitely pick these up. I'm sure, you know, with how high they retail, there is definitely room there to still make a pretty decent profit. Next, we have a pair of Saludos. I really only pick up this brand at outlet stores. I would not have paid like $6 for these at regular Goodwill. But with the little embroidered pineapple, I thought this was cute for upcoming spring and summer. And they were in pretty good condition, size 10. Last pair of shoes are a pair of children's shoes. These are Minnetonka. I just thought these were adorable and they looked brand new. Very good shape, genuine suede with beading, the little kilty toe. These are a size children's 12 and yeah, I couldn't pass those up either. They probably retail, I would guess like 40 to 50, so I'll probably list those like 20, 25. And last in shoes and accessories is this lightweight circular woven bag. It's a crossbody bag. It has a little tassel here. I just thought this was cute again for spring, summer. You could take this on a vacation. It's fully lined. It doesn't feel like the best quality, but it does zip close. So, you know, it's secure and it is lined on the inside. So, I think it's fine for a little vacation purse. Okay, getting into clothing now. We'll first start off with a couple ponchos. This first piece I was so excited to find. It is Lululemon. They had this on a pants hanger and it kind of looked just like a piece of fabric as I was scrolling through. But when I touched the material, I instantly knew that it was Lululemon just to kind of give you a close up of how like buttery smooth this material is. And then I did see anytime I touch a fabric and my spidey senses think Lululemon, I immediately just search all over for this little medallion and there it was. Second and last poncho is by Barefoot Dreams. I love this brand. It's sold at Nordstrom and it's just the comfiest, coziest brand ever. It's Cozy Chic Ultra Light is the type of fabric that this poncho is and it's like a mixed zebra and leopard print. So I thought that was kind of cool, the differing animal patterns. It's one size fits all, nylon and viscose. Okay, on to a jacket. This was so cool. I could not believe I found this. It's a 100% genuine leather, steel gray, long line trench coat. And this thing is so high quality. It's in such good condition. It doesn't really look like it was ever worn. Ami Leather Limited and it was made in Canada. The leather is just like so thick and nice. It still had the belt attached and I picked this up y'all at the Family Thrift Center outlet $2.25. This is just mind-blowing. This is probably 
like a $1,500 jacket originally. It has pockets and actually in one of the pockets is one of the extra buttons. It's not missing a button, but it does still have the extra button. So I feel like this is like brand new. It's fully lined. So nice. I'm not sure what I will list this for. I do need to model it, but probably 125 ish. One of my absolute favorite brands to find, if not my favorite, Johnny was size medium. How pretty is this top? It's a really lovely teal color. And then it has all of this embroidery, floral embroidery. It's a little bit of a longer length, more embroidery at the bottom hem and then in the back so pretty i'll probably list that i would say 65 ish next we have intimately free people i looked this one up and this is the top to a pajama set so it did have some pajama shorts that went with it but i'm just going to list it by itself i would have rather found the top than just the shorts because i mean you could still wear this as a nightgown or just a tunic top i didn't know it was pajamas when i found it because it does look like just kind of a classic casual free people top. I really like the drop shoulder and this kind of like gauzy material with the very earthy buttons. So yeah, I think this will do well regardless. It's a size small. This is another piece. I was at the bins just kind of rifling through everything and I felt this material instantly knew it was Lululemon. And this is the Align tank top. And anything from the Align line, A-L-I-G-N from Lululemon, is very sought after. It's a lot of people's like favorite items that Lululemon sells. And this was a size 18, which is great. I usually find size like 4 to 10 from Lulu. So to find size 18, I was really happy about, especially with the tag still attached. This looks like it's in really good condition. So I'll probably list this, I would say like 40 to 45-ish. Oh, this was another really good find. It's just this brand, which is sold at Nordstrom. It's kind of like a, I would say like mid-tier boutique kind of brand. But this piece in particular had really good comps. So it's this, is it, yeah, snap front shacket with frayed, seams lots of fraying details and then the back says all you need is love in like a kind of graffiti kind of font so yeah i saw several of these sold for some were sold for like 50 to 80 dollars which was kind of crazy um, and I don't think any of this green color are currently available this one's in a size medium so that's really good to see when you're checking comps that you know you have either the only color or the only size in a particular piece that is sought after because that means that you can really stand firm on your price because you know if, they, if someone wants to buy that they have to buy it through you so I'll probably list that around $50 and stay pretty firm on it just because it is so cool it's a very cool piece this is I would say more of a lower tier boutique olivaceous this might be sold even at like TJ Maxx maybe, I'm not sure, but I just thought this was so cute. It's like a striped mixed floral print button down shirt. It's very kind of 70s, especially with this flare sleeve. How cute would this be with a pair of dark bell bottom jeans and some like platform shoes. I couldn't pass this up. I had to throw it into my bag of the bins. It probably cost me a dollar. It's pretty lightweight. A higher tier find here, Helmet Lang, and this is their newer tag, size six. It's a mini dress, just a black kind of essential little back black dress. Anytime I find something like this, I do always add that as a keyword. Uh, both little black dress and LBD because a lot of people search with those keywords. It does have manufactured frayed sleeves, which I just quickly looked up in store. Helmet Lang does have style numbers on their care tags. So I just typed in to Google Helmet Lang and then the style number here, the dress popped up and I could tell in the stock photos that the sleeves were manufactured to be frayed and so I did go ahead and buy it. 
Okay, next up we have Torrid Sleep. And this is a size 6X. It's a navy kind of boyfriend style cardigan. I love selling Torrid and I've mentioned it so many times, but cardigans are a huge seller for me. People love cardigans. They love to be comfy and layer. This has a drop shoulder, very kind of casual, cool style. And this is a newer piece. It's from November, 2021. So yeah, I was really happy to find this. I think it'll be a really nice, cozy, basic for someone. Next, a tried and true little graphic t-shirt, Def Leppard. This was originally sold at Urban Outfitters. It has a cheetah on the front. I think this will fly out of my closet. Band tees usually do. It's a size medium. It does have the tiniest hole at the neckline, but I really don't think anyone will care about that. I I have a graphic t-shirt on myself. It is Lizzie McGuire. My best friend got it for me for Christmas because she knows I love Lizzie McGuire, Hilary Duff. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited to rock my own graphic t-shirt. Okay, next we have Eliza J. I pick up this brand sometimes, definitely not all the time, but with the classic black and white polka dot print, the midi length, uh, the belt still attached and the size were all reasons why I wanted to get this particular piece. It is a size 12. It's lined at the chest area and it just seemed really well made. It's in great condition. It has pockets. So yeah, I think that'll be an easy like $25 to $35 sale. Next we have a men's item. These are a pair of swim trunks. I mainly just grabbed these because I liked the novelty print with the cheetahs. Uh, they also looked brand new and they were a size large. They're from the brand Trunks Surf and Swim Company. They have a pocket in back. So yeah, probably 20, 25 ish on those. I'll list them over in my men's closet. I like to just keep my men's closet active by listing, you know, a couple items here and there. I do get quite a few sales over in my men's closet. So I do like having it. I like keeping it active and sharing and adding items to it. I've mentioned it in my ship with me videos, but over in my men's closet items usually sell either for full price or close to full price. And so it is a really nice little extra income stream to have. Okay, next we have another great brand. This is St. John in a size extra large. It's an off shoulder top with a striped print and then the little gold St. John logo plate at the bottom. This is in their Santana knit. That is a material that's exclusive to St. John and it is the most popular material. 70% wool, 30% rayon. So if you find a St. John piece and that is a fabric makeup, that means that it is Santana knit. You do want to include that in your title and description because people do search search it out. Next we have Sundance. Such a cute blouse. There's embroidery and eyelet details, a little floral embroidered stripe down the front. This is the newer Sundance tag. It's like more of a turquoise kind of font. Size extra small. So cute. Very boho. This was a fun find. I found the top in the bins and then I uh, rummaged around and found the pants. So this is Lands In collaborating with Draper James. Draper James is Reese Witherspoon's clothing line and these are a size medium, 10-12, 100% cotton. Again, they looked brand new. I liked the floral print and because I found both pieces, I had to grab it. If these had any signs of wear, I would have left it behind. But, I mean, they look brand new, so how could I not? I'm sure this will sell. I would say 25 to 35-ish. Next, we have another great brand, a definite bolo. This is CP Shades. It can be kind of tricky to uh, discover, I guess you'd say, because the font is usually the same color as the tag. But... Uh, you do want to look out for it. So this is just a really nice 100% linen, asymmetric hem, boxy blouse. 
And this is a size extra large, so definitely oversized. I will for sure add keywords like lag and look, uh, beachy, coastal grandma. This was such a pretty piece. I've actually never found this sub brand from Anthropology before. Seen, worn, kept. Size extra small. But how adorable is this little dress? It has so many details to it. It's kind of like, it's almost like quilted with these mixed prints. Lots of tassels happening. And then the back, also really pretty. So yeah, I'll probably list this, I would say maybe like 45-ish. This top from Free People Beach, I have sold probably seven times in the past. It always sells really quickly for me though. It's a one size fits all top. It's like a slub cotton cowl neck with inverse seams there for like a very laid back kind of look. And then in back, it does have a contrast colored bottom hem. So very just kind of effortless, throw it on and go. Bella Doll, this is the newer tag from Bella Doll size small. I thought this was really pretty. It looks really flattering. It's like a higher neck. It's a cinched neck in this really nice kind of wine color. And this is a silk blend. This was another bins grab. It's very lightweight. So yeah, I think this should do well. Maybe like, I would probably say 28-ish on this. 70% viscose 30% silk. We have newer tag Zara. This is like a quintessential kind of spring top. It's great for transitional weather because it is kind of a sweater knit, but you know, it also is kind of a loose knit. So you get a breeze. So cute. I love the silhouette to this with the kind of puff sleeve, very feminine and flattering. This is a size medium. Another good find. I hadn't heard of this brand, but the reason that I got it was because of the material content. It is 100% alpaca, and some people will only wear 100% alpaca with their knits. So this is a cardigan. It does have kind of an intricate closure in front with this contrast uh, kind of trim. So really pretty, great quality. This is a size large. This will probably sell for around $50. Uh, people do love their alpaca for sure. Okay, another great find actually. This brand I've sold in the past, Falter. I believe I sold, it was like a glow in the dark skeleton printed dress that I sold around Halloween time. This brand is sold at Mod Cloth, which you know is known for like quirky novelty prints. And this is no exception. I believe this is a Day of the Dead or Night of the Dead, Noche de los Muertos. So that's Night of the Dead, if I'm not mistaken. Um, printed dress. Uh, and so, yeah, I think this will sell very well. I will add in keywords like pinup, rockabilly, swing style, uh, any kind of keywords I can think of. I will also add in a lot of keywords for this print and I think it should sell really well. Size small, it's 100% cotton. Okay, next we have a cardigan from Logo by Lori Goldstein in a size extra large. I do really like picking up this brand as a bread and butter brand, especially if the piece is pretty substantial, which I would say this is. First off, it's an extra large. It's also a cardigan, which reiterating, cardigans sell really well for me. It has um, some really cute feminine details at the bottom hem. And it's just, you know, a really nice kind of comfy, cozy piece that has a little bit of flair to it, I would say for sure. Little pockets there. These I got from the bins and I, I wouldn't say I regret picking them up, but they were not my best buy by any means, mainly because printed jeans and pants aren't really in anymore. Uh, but I did want to grab them. They're from Anthropology, Pilcrow, and the Letterpress. 
They're a size 30, which is a good size. They looked brand new and I did, I just liked the print. I think it's cute. It's very boho. I think, you know, with like a, a chambray top, these would be so cute. So, I mean, even if they sit for a bit, I did just want to get them. I, you know, I, sometimes I have a hard time seeing stuff like go off to a landfill. These were in an older bin. I think someone will purchase them for 25 ish and I would be more than happy with that. More anthropology. This in contrast is a newer piece. I know that because the store name is printed on the tag, which they started doing relatively recently, uh, size large. I have actually sold this exact skirt in the past. It's so cute. It's a true wrap skirt with a striped print and then a contrasting polka dot print at the lining and the little tie. So yeah, it is, it is a true wrap skirt. It wraps all the way around and then the tie goes through the belt loops. I believe this is also a linen blend. It's fully lined. This is another fantastic spring piece. Yes, 55% linen and then rayon. Last couple pieces in our first bag. We have J Crew size four. Again, I couldn't pass this up with springtime approaching. I just thought it was so fun and cheery. It's this yellow vibrant yellow button-down shirt with is that eyelet that's definitely eyelet I don't know why that is escaping me but I'm pretty sure now I have to look it up yes definitely eyelet so yeah size 4 100% cotton and this is from spring of 2017 Bryn Walker an excellent bolo brand very lagging look this is a size medium, definitely oversized. It's 100% linen uh, maxi dress, I believe. It has a high-low hemline, such high quality. It has pockets. I would say this is on the same level as Flax, which also sells very, very well, uh, Eileen Fisher. So yeah, again, I will add a ton of keywords into this. Lag and look, beachy, coastal grandma, uh, oversized boho okay moving on to our second bag we are starting off with more anthropology this is also a little bit of an older piece Rosie Mira size extra small but I just thought it was really pretty and again it is a cardigan I know I'm kind of a broken record right now I loved the colors that were in it it has kind of like a metallic copper thread throughout which I just thought was so pretty uh, so yeah, I couldn't pass this up. It has almost kind of like a pointel knit. So yeah, I think this would be a really nice kind of statement piece. You could wear just like a white top with dark jeans and then throw this on top for a really nice little pop of fun. This is kind of an out of the box pickup for me. I don't know if I've ever grabbed Jones New York in my entire reselling career. But I did get this for several reasons. First off, it's a size 1X. It's 100% linen, which is a natural, breathable material. It's more expensive, higher quality than like polyester, rayon, because, you know, it, it is natural, it's breathable. And I loved the color combo of this dark brown with the turquoise beads. So... Yeah, I thought, again, this was just so kind of like beachy and boho. It's long line in excellent condition. I don't think this will have any problem selling for, I would say like 25 to 28-ish. More Bryn Walker, also a size medium. There is the, not focusing, there we go. Bryn Walker, size medium. And this is a printed dress. It's like a abstract floral print with a ruffle hem at the bottom. It's just 100% cotton. Really easy to throw on and go. That will probably sell though for, I would say around $50. Another 100% linen piece. 
Can you guys tell that I am trying to get ready for the transitional weather? People are going to switch from wanting to buy wool and cashmere to loading up on linen. So I've been really trying to keep my eye out for it. This brand does retail for quite a bit. It's called Three Dots, but the resale value is not great. However, I did want to get this because it is a size large. It is 100% linen, and I thought it was pretty substantial being a double-breasted jacket. It's in a neutral color that should appeal to a lot of people, and it had no signs of wear. The sleeves have a roll tab, uh, the roll tab, so you can wear them long or you can roll it up and snap it to be shorter. Okay, next we have a brand that I have really been liking selling. XCVI. Well, this is a sub or a line within the brand Mindset by XCVI, but they do a lot of like interesting kind of hemlines, fun prints, a lot of like lag and look kind of style. Honestly, it's like contemporary lag and look is what I would call it. This is a size 3X and it's uh, really cool. It has a tie dye uh, print to it. It's a mixed media top, meaning that this front is like a slub cotton and then the back is more of like a drapey rayon kind of material. So that's kind of neat. And yeah, I just, I think this will do great. It has so many kind of marketable features to it. Let me see. Oh yeah, so the front is cotton and modal. I've mentioned it a lot, but modal is like the softest fabric. Some people will only buy modal pieces because they're just so comfortable. And then the back is viscose. Okay, next, Banana Republic, which I rarely buy. But again, this had several sellable features to it. First off, it's a size large. Secondly, it's 100% silk, which again, natural material. It's more expensive. And it does have a fun scalloped design to it down the front and then also at the sleeves, I think. Yeah, at the sleeves. Also, this uh, really dark kind of plum color is pretty popular. It goes really well with like uh, I was going to say navy green, but that's army green. Um, and, you know, just blue jeans or slacks. You could wear this to the office or you could wear it with dark jeans and flats out for like a girl's night. Okay, this is another thing to be on the lookout for. J. Crew collaborating with Liberty Fabrics or any brand really collaborating with Liberty Fabrics uh, because it is sought after these Liberty Fabrics prints. I've sold, I sold a pair of pajamas that was Antonio Milani collaborating with Liberty Fabrics and they sold for like 60 or $75. Um, but this is J. Crew collab. It's just a little tank top. It'll probably sell for 25 ish, but you know, if it was just regular J. Crew, I probably would have left it behind. Um, size extra small. I do really like the print though. It's from spring of 2019. Next we have All Saints size large. This is a midi length dress with this knot detail in front. This is very flattering. I did look up the stock photo for this. Very kind of contemporary and it's a really soft material. This is a wool modal blend, which is very interesting. I haven't really seen that too much in the past. I thought I saw a hole, but I did not. No, that's just where the uh, twist is. I thought this was cute. Picked up purely based on style. This is a vintage tag, Doncaster, size six. It's like a little gingham printed button up shirt and then look at the buttons. They're like these little acrylic floral buttons. So the buttons combined with the print and also the cut, it's like a boxy cut with this pointed collar. I think this is precious and will have no problem selling. I will add 90s, Y2K. How cute would this be with a pair of like black high-waisted jeans and some platform Doc Martens? 
that would be a whole look. More Draper James, which again is Reese Witherspoon's clothing line. This is a size eight. It's a chambray midi length wrap dress with flutter sleeves, a pretty little like feminine detail. And then the belt and back, definitely flattering and chambray is going to be huge in springtime. It always is. American Eagle. I typically only like to pick up American Eagle dresses if they're super substantial, meaning like they're a midi length or a maxi length, but I thought this one had enough going for it, even though it's just a mini length, uh, that I would go ahead and get it. It does have that 90s Y2K straight across neckline. It's a linen blend. It's a size large. It's fully lined, and it does have this cutout with the tie and back. And the sleeves, or sorry, the straps are adjustable. So it, it was thoughtfully made with the lining and the adjustable straps. The material content is good. It has some extra little details. And this little ditzy floral print is also kind of 90s stylish. More J. Crew. I feel like I don't typically buy this much. This one is J. Crew Factory. But again, this skirt just had so much going for it. It's a pinstripe print with a bow, ruffle hem, it zips in back, and it is a midi length. It's lined, it is not lined, but that's okay. It is kind of a thicker material, so it's not sheer. It has pockets, 100% cotton from the spring of 2018. Next we have just a little Free People 1 crop top with eyelet details at the chest. Really cute very feminine. This line, I would say Free People Beach and Free People One do sell a little bit better for me than just the house Free People label, size medium. Uh, this line has a lot of like really gauzy materials with fraying and uh, just kind of like a manufactured worn in look looks to them, I would say. Next we have Soft Surroundings. Tons of marketable features on this piece. First off, it's a size 2X. It is a linen cotton blend. It's a long line cardigan and it's in excellent condition. And some people really like this pink color. Some people just have this as their color, which I love. Um, and little mother of pearl button closure in front. This does, when you unbutton, these three buttons, it does tie closed on the inside, which is nice because it kind of stays put a little bit more. Again, that's just more of like a thoughtful detail within the piece. So yeah, I think this will probably sell, I would say like 32 to 35 ish costs, which kind of like XCVI, I have really been enjoying selling this brand. It has been pretty popular. This is a size large. It's a plum colored boat neck dress. The shoulders kind of have like a, I'm not sure what you would call this, uh, like overlaid effect to them with a boat neck neckline. And then it's a contrast sleeve. So the body's like a really nice, soft, stretchy ponty knit. But then you have like a contrasting shirt style wrist cuff. So that's kind of interesting, very contemporary, very minimalist. Um, and this looked, again, brand new. I do really like the Ponty knit. It's easy to keep a wrinkle free and it is very comfortable. I picked this up at the bins mainly because I have sold it in the past. And so listing it will be so incredibly easy. It's Beach Lunch Lounge size medium. It's a gingham print wrap blouse with these tiered ruffle sleeves. Again, a great spring piece, 100% cotton, very lightweight. So I have sold this brand a couple times in the past and it did pretty well. I don't think it retails for a ton, but this piece seemed very substantial to me. It's Ula Popkin, oversized fit. USA size 20 to 26. So I believe I do need to convert that. They have a conversion chart on their website. This is 100% linen and it's a 
cobalt, uh, just kind of like uh, over, over cardigan. I don't know if I would quite call it a cardigan. It's like, you know, an outerwear item. I do really like the inside tan color. I think this is such a cool color combination. And I mean, this looked brand new. So again, for $2.25, 100% linen plus size piece in great condition was not going to leave this behind. All right, last couple items here. We have blue and gray for loft size medium. This is just a wardrobe staple sweater. I was kind of biased to it because you'll know I love this mustard color. If this were in my size, I would definitely be keeping it. It's just 100% cotton, lightweight, kind of oversized uh, dolman style sweater. It has the skinny sleeves and then this oversized bodice with a high-low hemline. And for our very last piece, this I would also throw into the category of a brand that I have really been liking selling, uh, Comfy USA. People do search this out and it does retail for quite a bit. This is a size medium. It's a zip front. The zipper is like off center, which kind of bugs me a little bit, but I mean, I don't know. I guess it just makes it a little more quirky. It has a ruffle hem. It's a long line kind of tunic top. And it is in that really stretchy or comfy, if you will, material. Yeah, modal and spandex. So that is a, a stretch jersey knit, which I will include both in the title and description. Made in USA, size medium. So yeah, I think this will probably sell, I would say maybe like 28 to 32 ish. So that is absolutely everything for this huge haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Everything should be listed by the time this video goes up. So if you're interested in anything, I will have the link to my Poshmark closet in the description of this video. Thank you guys again for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.